Hey, what's up, y'all? Y'all know my slogan. I don't know it all, but I know what I've been through. Now, before we get into this video, please make sure you head on down to Instagram and follow us on our official Instagram page at hookah anonymous underscore. All right, we're able to be a little more explicit, a little more uncensored, and share content freely without running the risk of having our channel terminated. So, once again, make sure you head on down to Instagram and follow us on our official Instagram page at hookah anonymous underscore. All right, now let's get into what you guys came here to see. Now, it's looking like the tension between Lamron 300 and OTF is growing, although it seems to be one-sided because I haven't seen much of the OTF guys responding. I also thought with Reese coming home, things would kind of die down with all the subliminals between 300 and OTF, but I guess I was wrong about that as well. Now this time we have Lamron 300 Richo, who sparked things off with some interesting posts via his Instagram story, where it's alleged that he's referring to OTF boss Lil Dirk. Now nobody knows where it came from, you know, it came pretty early, you know, he posted, I don't know. Sometimes, you know, guys could be, whether it's off the drugs or if it's, or if it's the alcohol, who knows what it is, or maybe he was just sober and he's just speaking his mind, you know, but he started off early this morning, he had something to say via his Instagram story, and he said, quote, it's no such thing as being Lamron 300 and OTF, it's only one, it's like you saying you GD and BD, it's not heard of, Lamron 300 is Lamron 300, not OTF, it's no Lamron 300 claiming OTF, it's a separation. All Lamron members have Lamron 300 on their page. It's no in between 300 emojis, right? Then he took to the next slide in his Instagram story and he said, quote, if you ain't supporting what we got going on, keep Lamron 300 out your mouth on Lil Mo. And for real, a lot of you N words ain't even no Lil Mo and just be merching it on bro. Right. And y'all know exactly what he's talking about when he say that. But anyway. The next slide, he says, quote, if anybody that's not Lamron 300 and want to shoot a video on 6400 Street normal, just give me a call 872-904-6463, because if you don't, you at your own risk. Now, the part that let us know that he's pretty much referring to Lil Dirk is the whole part where he says, if you ain't supporting what we got going on, keep Lamron 300 out your mouth. And, um... That's the most biggest one I can see because if y'all remember Poodle LaFleur and THF46 Muda, where they kind of had a similar gripe with Dirk about not supporting. You know, if y'all remember before, not to mention when he signed Lil Zay Osama, it's not like they had a problem with Lil Zay Osama. They were just saying that, you know, they rapping too. And they the guys. You know, they, they land wrong. They come from where you come from. So how you skip over them to go and sign and, you know, do business and, and give opportunity to somebody else? But then again, this all ties back to what I was saying in the previous video. You can't tell somebody who to sign. You can't tell somebody, even if y'all mans, I know it's a street code, oh, we the bros, or we come from where you come from. But at the end of the day, business is business and personal is personal. Maybe Dirk feels that Poodle LaFleur and Muda's music isn't that good. Who knows? But, you know, these guys are pretty much saying, we the guys, we from where you from. So at the end of the day, how you skip over us? And then go sign somebody else knowing we trying to get out the trenches you know so um now to make matters even more interesting lamron 300 affiliates chubbs and oj actually reposted the story of Richo saying there's no such thing as you being lamron and otf and one may only assume that they feel the same way because if they didn't they wouldn't have reposted it you know and like i said there's been a little back and forth between lamron and otf for a little minute now um, I thought it would kind of die down with Lil Reese coming home, but it seems like they still going. Um, once again, I don't know why Richo said what he said and decided to post that post, but it seems like this is something that's going on behind the scenes. We may, we from the outside looking in. So every time we see one of them go off, we like, ah, right, well, what's to him? But not knowing this is probably an ongoing battle or ongoing thing behind the scenes. Who knows? But anyway. Taytown affiliates such as Ken Ken and Murder Man had something to say in regards to Richo's post, starting with Ken Ken. 
Now he took to his Instagram story also to say, quote, I don't get it how you talking and you used to have it in your name. Must be mad or some, I don't know. Whatever it is, shout out all the real N-words that ain't hating on no N-word out here. Hundred emojis, because a lot of these N-words like B-words, attention seeking. Now, he's referring, of course, to Rich on them because I ain't gonna lie, he definitely did have it in his name about a year ago. If y'all remember, everything was kind of like Lil Dirt. And it's only right because, you know, they saying, listen, he come from here, we land wrong. So we gonna support him. But there's like a shift. It was something that happened to where I guess these guys feel, listen, he ain't supporting us, so we ain't supporting him. And we gonna talk about it every chance we get. I don't know if that's gonna be their claim to fame. Who knows? But Ken Ken do have a, a point. These guys, almost not even so much as a year ago, some of them did have OTF still in their name. You know? And if you remember, a lot of people were saying that these guys are just jealous. That's where the whole, um, all the real N words that ain't hating on no N word out here. A lot of people were saying that these guys just mad that Dirk ain't putting them on. And a lot of people feel that's where the animosity is coming from. Some people say that, well, these guys are jealous of Lil Dirk or whatever, just mad that, you know, he's successful. But I remember when Poodle the Flair did make it clear that it's not about that. It's not about him actually, you know, coming back to actually sign us. We just thought that as friends or, you know, we know him that we would be the first in line to go if he was to sign anybody instead of going somewhere else. That's pretty much what it is. It's not like these guys are begging for money or begging. You see what I'm saying? They pretty much saying, yo, we thought we, that was our mans. We thought we was all cool, but we see that it's not what we thought it was pretty much. That's the type of vibe that I get from them. All right. But, um, that's pretty much what King King had to say. Now, in regards to Murder Man, he also put his two cents in where he took to his Instagram story and he said, quote, don't nobody run ish on 59th. Let's be clear. We don't answer to nobody. We do what we want. On Tay, we were born in it, not sworn in. All right. So I'm um, pretty short and straight to the message, man. And from what we hear, you know, Murder Man, he's really about that life. Um, Let me say one thing as well. The last time when they said something about Dirk not being able to come back, um, I think it was Lil Marco. He called himself Banner Lil Dirk and said he has to apologize first. Then they took it back. Then Dirk actually came, shot a video, and that kind of shut down all the rumors of Dirk not being able to go back to his hood. Now, when you do things like that, it kind of messes with your credibility for one. You know, it makes it seem like what you say from the outside looking in is not believable. It's not credible, you know? And two, trying to ban someone like Little Dirk from his own hood in Chicago. It's not a small move, man. You know, unless you feel like you heavy like that, then okay. But also remember, y'all, it takes money to go to war. <laughs> I hate to say it like that and hate to even speak on, you know, promoting violence. But that's the reality of it. And if that's the route you chose to take, you know, you have to be aware of these things. Beefing with someone who actually has money and y'all have some of the same affiliates, it's not in your best interest. <laughs> and I'm going to just leave it at that. It is what it is. Um, what I do wonder is, will Lil Reese, you know, step in and tell the guys, leave the whole situation alone, stay in your lane, get your money. And, you know, because it's kind of unnecessary. I don't know where this come from. Maybe, like I said, it's behind the scenes and we just see like the result of it. Who knows? But anyway, that's pretty much it, man. Y'all jump in the comments. Let me know how y'all feel. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content. And remember, as long as you keep on watching, I'm going to keep on dropping. And I'm out.